Mark, NBAA 2014, first day, a uh, tremendous amount of anticipation that sooner or later things have to be better. There are aircraft out there that have excited the imagination that obviously fit segments that are just waiting to do, do business, waiting to get out there, and the SJ-30 program is certainly at the top of the list for so many. Uh, just a, a tremendously high performance little aircraft for the market. Where is the program at this stage of the game since we talked to you about a year ago, and where do you go from here? Uh, where we go from here is we uh, are looking to fly our flight test airplane that has the new CyberVision and the cockpit part of the interior styling uh, early to middle of next year, uh, certifying approximately a year later uh, in 2016 with deliveries, uh, certainly right after we get certification of the airplane. This year we brought to the show our new interior styling by Jason Castriota, uh, Jason Castriota Designs, as well as the full mock-up version of CyberVision, which is essentially branded by Honeywell as Epic 2.0. So the big difference you'll see in our mock-up from previous years is we've gone to a much more luxurious cockpit and cabin interior with more high-end look. So we're looking at more actual carbon fibers, brushed aluminum. We're now using Alcantara fabrics out of Italy, as well as kind of an aggressive red stitching in the cockpit to make it to kind of have that high-end sports car look. What does the production schedule look like under the best possible terms for the immediate future? When are we going to see airplanes and about what rate might we see them? We'll start delivering airplanes, which will be the SJ-30i, which will be the Dash 2A powered airplane in middle-ish of 2016. Then we'll be putting the Dash 3 AP engine on the airplane, and that certify about a year later. Because of the debt structure of the new company through the MFS bankruptcy, we have a much lighter debt load, so we have a much lower production rate. So we're looking at max production rate of delivering approximately 25 airplanes, you know, once we get the production line mature. Therefore, we're looking at just a smaller marketing segment, you know, in the light jet market, which has kind of been hit hard lately. So because of the debt structure, we don't really need to produce a lot of airplanes to maintain a profit level now. An enviable situation compared to some of the competition out there right now. Exactly, exactly. And we think with our high performance airplane, we still, uh, over over the years from MVS and Sinus Engine, we still maintain our performance edge with both speed and range. Our 12 PSI cabin with a sea level cabin through 41,000 feet is still better than any jet in the world, including the Gulf Streams and the Boeing 787s out there. And then we've increased the luxuriousness of the cabin to hopefully pick up those customers. Those customers that fly with a light payload, you know, one or two people in the back, our airplane in the back end of the airplane, we have first class airplane airline wide seats. So we're offering them a comfortable airplane as long as they're looking for low passenger loads and they don't need a stand-up cabin. What they're getting out of that is a, basically a mid-size or medium-sized jet performance. They have the range, you know, at 2,500 miles. We're essentially 500 miles farther than some of the competition, a little bit more speed, obviously a lower cost, and the efficiency of the engines give them a better operating cost. The SJ-30's range really allows them to do things that they weren't allowed to do before with previous jets. We have sales with guys flying G-150s, old Astros, those type of airplanes, that are allowed with this airplane to both fly single pilot, but yet still be able to do the missions they used to do. And then reaching parts of the world that are growing now, like the Chinas, the Russias, where the ranges are much more important than they are here in the United States or maybe Europe. You mentioned lightly loaded. Lightly loaded, and this airplane is going to be a rocket ship. <laughs> yes, it, it is a rocket. It's currently a rocket ship right now. Uh, we can easily do. Uh, we came down here at 41,000 feet at Mach 8.2 from San Antonio. The current airplane typically flies between Mach 7.8 and 8.0 at 45,000 feet, anywhere from 2,200 miles and up, depending on the passenger load. The Dash 3 airplane will direct climb to 46,000 feet and maintain Mach 8.3 through 45,000 feet. So the airplane will continue its performance brand. And once we kind of get production set on the SJ-30i and then the X, we'll start looking forward to the next model of a maybe a faster, longer range airplane. Aero TV is brought to you by the TI-250 DC to AC inverter pumps out 250 watts of clean, regulated AC cabin or cockpit power. It's perfect for laptops, iPads, tablets, chargers, and special missions equipment available from your local avionics dealer.